Doki Doki waits for Doki Doki comments. Doki Doki Literature Club. Play Doki Doki Club. Doki Doki Literature Club. Doki Doki Do not look up why you should play it or what it's about. People better like this so he doesn't spoil anything. Unless it's already too late. Lol. I have no idea what you're talking about. Though it is great that the front page literally says, Hi, it's a gruesome horror game. Now I've been trying my best to not watch anything about this game. Individuals suffering from anxiety and depression may not have safe experience playing this game. Huh. That was a fast playthrough. This is adorable though. Look at that. New game into your name. Okay. Myth. Okay. Hey! <laughs> I see an annoying girl running toward me from a distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today. But it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together. We need to pick voices that fit them, so, um... I always slept again. Yeah, that works. But I caught you this time. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop it and wait for you. It's not like I like you or anything. Eh? <laughs> You said that like you were thinking about ignoring me. That's mean. Myth. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. We cross the street together and make our way to school. Have you decided on a club to join yet? I told you already. I'm not really interested in joining any clubs. You told me you'd join a club this year. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Yo, this is not even a game. This is just real. And I know you're happy now, but I'd die. At the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. Alright, alright. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay. Why do I let myself get lectured by a, such a carefree girl? Who are you to judge? You don't know what she's messing with. Maybe she's chronically depressed and just trying to hide it with being happy. Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize that I'm the only one in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know... Know what? Well, that you could come to my club. Sayuri, listen, uh, you're, you're cool and all, but how do I say this? F fuck no. There's no way I'm going to your club. Eh? Mini. Sayuri is the vice president of the literature club. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Wait, so an anime club for them is just... A normal club? I kinda told the club yesterday I'd bring in a new member. And that's he made cupcakes and everything. Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Sayuri is really that much of an airhead. Or if she's so cunning as to have planned all this out. Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes, let's go. And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. Everyone, the new member's here. I told you, don't call me a new member. Eh, I glance around the room. There's no one here. <laughs> she's like, say hello to everyone. Oh, hello, it's girl number one. She looks older and more mature, so uh, welcome to the literature club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Sairi always says nice things about you. Like your giant dick Dictionary. Seriously? You brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Yeah, what the fuck, man? Wow, oh, myth. What a nice surprise. I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing. It's full of incredibly cute girls. If you want to say something, say it. S sorry. The girl with the sour attitude whose name is apparently Natsuki is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She's also the one who made the cupcakes, according to Sayori. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Don't say anything like that, even though it's true. I mean, you guys are fucking dumbasses. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again, Myth. Monica smiled sweetly. We rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically completely out of my league. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... Y you too, Monica. Come sit down, Myth. We made room for you at the table so you can sit next to me and Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Natsuki lifts a foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to like look like little cats. I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. Sabi grabs one first, then Monica, I follow. It's delicious. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneak glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. Thank you, Natsuki. Why are you thanking me? It's not like I... I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri is just trying to impress you. Uh, uh, that's not. You, these voices fit perfectly for this situation. So, what made you consider the literature club? Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet and Sayori seemed really happy here, so... We'll make sure to make you feel at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. I'm confident we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah. We'll, uh, do our best. You know it. Sasuke? So, Myth, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh... Shit, I read nothing but fanfictions and... Yaoi? Come on, think of something quick. Uh
Manga? I might have quietly told myself half joking. No, not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? My fairies are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. Like Sword Art Online? The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in. But it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know why? I like a lot of things. Stories with uh, deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliver? Deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop. Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Not foreshadowing this cute and uplifting game or anything. Ah, I read a horror book once. It was called Cabrakin X Bastet. I'll never forget. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you. But if a story makes me think, it takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. I'll put you down, though. Anyway, surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world. <sighs> I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Well, I just... That's right. You usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? Na Nani? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud. Fine, fine. Everything you do is just as cute as you are. Should I leave now, or... Natsuki, you write your own poems? Uh, well, I guess sometimes. I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? No, no. Ah, not a very confident writer yet. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. It takes skill, dignity, speed, momentum. As a wise man once said, you gotta be the best a man can get. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Yeah, what she said. <laughs> she crumbles at gay mangas. I have an idea, everyone. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. The next time we meet, we all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Yes, let's do it. I think it will help us get a little bit more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Myth? What? Hold on, that's still one problem. I never said I'd join this club. Sorry may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decisions. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But... But I'm sorry, I I thought. Hemp Miss. I I'm defenseless against these girls. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girls' eyes light up. Yes, I'm so happy. Sayu wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey, hey, you really did scare me for a moment. Haha, <laughs> I'm not scared. But you should be soon, bitch. If you really just came for cupcakes, I'd be super pissed. Then that makes it official. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Myth, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Myth, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? The whole way my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sairi, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course Monica. Once upon a time, they were all living in peace. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in the literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. It's time to write a poem. Pick words to- okay. So I just pick what I- depression? <laughs> I mean, what am I supposed to do? Uh, frightening. Kiss. Oh, it's like... Okay. Yo, let's just go for her then. Why not? Anxiety. Why is she happy about that? Death. <laughs> what, why is she happy about death? What the fuck? Universe. That's nice. Philosophy. Yes. Sucks. Hell yeah. Dude, knee high sucks. I'm just saying. Just the cutest shit ever. Misery. So she's... Is Sayu just fucking sad? Wait, did I actually call it? Because I said in the beginning she was fucking depressed or some shit for fun. But every time I pick something sad, she jumps. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. Ha <laughs> ha. You better fucking come here every day off. Nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but I at least keep my word. Thanks for keeping your promise, Myth. And thanks for watching. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> I don't know if you just plan to come here and hang out or what, but if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps a manga collection in the club room. Manga is literature. And that is the quote of the game. Myth always gets it his best as long as he keeps having fun. He heals me with steady work without even me asking. Sorry, that's because your room is so messy, it's distracting. You two are already good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. How come? Your Myth can become good friends too. S Sayuri? Hmm? <laughs> She's fucking brain dead. Oh, oh, you even brought you something today, you know? Sayuri made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Uh, what do I do? Eh? Uh, I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. I don't think very often. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. Uh, is that so? Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked a book out that I thought you might enjoy. How is this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. Well, you can read it at your own pace. Or my place. So, because I picked more Yuri things, I guess I've got to talk to her more than the others. But at the same time, I'd feel bad for distracting her from reading. I catch a glimpse of the cover of her book. It looks like she's reading the same book that she just lent me. More than that, she seems to be in the first few pages. She sneaks another glance at me and our eyes meet for a split second. I'm out of this sensing that I made her uncomfortable. It's fine. If I was focused, then I probably wouldn't have noticed in the first place. But I'm just rereading a bit of this, so... That's the book that you gave me, right? Mm-hmm. Just curious, how come you have two copies of the same book? Well, when I stopped at the bookstore yesterday... Uh, that's not what I meant. I just happened to buy two of them. 
them. Ah, I see. I'll definitely start reading it soon. I'm glad to hear that. Basically, it's about this girl in high school who moves in with her long lost younger sister. But as soon as she does so, her life gets really strange. She gets targeted by these people who escape from a human experiment prison. And while her life is in danger, she needs to desperately choose. And while her life is in danger, she needs to desperately choose who to trust. So is that also just what this game is? So they're all fucking insane. No matter what she does, she ends up destroying most of her relationships and her life starts to fall apart. It's kind of dark, isn't it? <laughs> Are you not a fan of that sort of thing, myth? I mean, I can definitely enjoy these kind of stories, so don't worry. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri was into these things. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. When I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts, I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. And please stop me if I start talking too much. That just means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. I might as well get started reading right now, right? Y you don't have to. Ahaha, <laughs> what are you saying? All right, it's fine if I sit here, right? It's just something that I'm not very used to. That is, reading in company with someone. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Yuri, you really apologize a lot, don't you? I don't really mean to. Sorry. Uh, I mean, yeah, this should work, right? I slide my desk up until it's against Yuri's and hold my book more between the two of them. Once we each lean in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. I do the same with my right arm on the right side of the book. But in holding it like this, we huddle even closer together than before. It's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face and she's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? Kids. I can't so about Yuri's face once again and our eyes meet. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. That's okay. You're not as used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning the page almost feels like an intimate exchange. This might be a silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. That's probably a terrible thing to have in common with her. Uh, that's so embarrassing that you think that. Wait, wait, I didn't mean it in a bad way or anything. Sorry, I really didn't know that you were self-conscious about that sort of thing. I guess a moment that it's kind of cute. Dude, I'm shipping this hard as shit. What are you saying all of a sudden? I think it's about time we share today's poems with each other. We might not have enough time if we wait too long. Yuri exhales, spared from finishing her thought. I guess I'll do some more reading tonight. Or would you prefer I only read it with you? I guess I don't have too much of a preference either way. In that case, I'll read a little bit more tonight. It'll be more fun to read with you after it picks up a little bit, you know? That's good reasoning. In that case, feel free to finish the two first chapters in your own time. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share it with? I can't wait. Wait, do I have to- Oh, shit, I have to pick. I'll pick save and end the video right there. Well, if we hit the uh, 2,500 likes, I'll do a next video in like three days. Hey! <laughs>